One thing you probably didn't know about me is that I am absolutely obsessed with pre-rendered graphics from the 90s. So I'm gonna show you some. Today I'm gonna highlight The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and I'm just gonna show you like some before and after what the in-game model looks like versus what they were going for with the pre-render. Let's take a look at these magic beans. Look at the detail on those things. And, and you'll notice looking at each of the peas of the pod or the seeds of the bean, what, I don't know, whatever that is, like it has these funky little colors intertwined that you don't see in the in-game model. And it just makes it look that much more magical. You're gonna grow something super cool. Next up is Din's Fire. And I think the in-game model really does it dirty here. It's just this weird cube diamond thing with a red ball. Like if you read the description, it kind of makes sense, but just looking at the model, it ain't it. But then look at the pre-render. It's like you're harnessing the power of a literal sun in your hands and you're ready to burn those baddies. Now, looking at the eyeball frog, I found that one really interesting. When I, when I look at the pre-render, it reminds me of something out of like, Rareware, like Banjo-Kazooie, you know, that kind of deal. Do, do you guys see that too? The Lens of Truth is also like really interesting. The in-game model looks so derpy, and then you look at this pre-render and it's like you're ready to solve some Scooby-Doo mysteries with Sauron. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the pre-render of the, of the tunics? Look at the thread count on that thing. I hope it's soft. And what's with the little X's on the model? What is that? The hover boots. Dude, the hover boots. Look at the reflection on them. Oh my God. Extra points on the cool factor. Take a look at the light arrows. You go from this little yellow chunky block of something to this beautiful, glorious, light, bright. Oh. Do you remember the sound it made when you selected which arrow you wanted. The sound and the pre-render go together like Mwah. If you like this kind of thing, press that like button. If you wanna see more, be sure to subscribe. And you know what, even if you don't like it, even if you don't subscribe, I'll probably keep doing it because I think it's so cool. Ah.